to know the answer you break the bond you have in fact three bonds here break three bonds and you write 3H here and 3OH and what are the products you are going to get POH thrice which is H3PO3 it is called phosphorus acid and of course 3HCl now the question you will have in your mind is how do we know where to write H and where to write OH H is in fact H plus OH is OH minus therefore H plus goes towards the more electronegative whoever is more electronegative H plus will go that way and OH minus obviously goes towards the more electropositive whichever is more electropositive look at the procedure once again break the bond H plus on one side and OH minus on the other which way should OH minus go? OH minus should go to the more electropositive. And how do we know which is more electronegative? This is the order. If you follow this order, you will all, always know F greater than O greater than N greater than Cl greater than greater than hydrogen greater than boron and of course many others to follow. You will have more uh, metals there and you will have other non-metals here. So this is the order of electronegativity, decreasing order of electronegativity. Electronegativity in which it is enough if you just uh, uh, know the first four F greater than O greater than N greater than Cl. So let us look at uh, reactions of water, other reactions of water which is called hydrolysis. How will you hydrolyze for that matter Mg3N2 magnesium nitride? Once again a nitride, a, a compound of this group. How will you hydrolyze this? Hydrolyse, hydrolysis means break the bond. Okay. And where should you write H plus? I already told you H plus should go to the more electronegative. Which is more electronegative? Obviously nitrogen. So you have 6H here and 6OH here. And the product will be 3 magnesium hydroxides and 2 NH3 ammonia. So what is the procedure for hydrolysis once again? Break the bond. H on one side, OH on the other. H plus should go to the more electronegative. OH minus should go to the more electropositive. So strictly speaking, I am not, uh, um, uh, I mean, confining to just the hydrolysis of PCL3. This procedure can be used for the hydrolysis of all the molecules. Let us look at a few more. Have you understood this? Magnesium nitrate break the bond. Why have we taken six hydrogens? Because I know that nitrogen has a valency of three. So six hydrogens, six OH. How do you hydrolyze NCl3? A very, very critical question. NCl3, hydrolysis of NCl3. NCl3. Here, of course, nitrogen is again forming three bonds. Break the three bonds. And where should H plus go? H plus should go to whoever is more electronegative. That En means electronegative. So, where should H plus go? Towards the more electronegative. Which is the more electronegative between nitrogen and chlorine? You have F greater than O greater than N greater than Cl. So here it chlorine is less electronegative. Therefore H plus should go towards nitrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative. So three hydrogens here and three OH here. H plus OH minus. So the product will be NH3 and 3HOCl. So NCl3 on hydrolysis produces ammonia. You can say this is one of the methods of preparation of ammonia and the other product is hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid. Okay. So we have completed the procedure for hydrolysis. Any number of compounds can be done like this. Oxy acids. 
name three or four oxy acids of this particular group oxy acids of nitrogen for that matter oxy acid what is an oxy acid which has both oxygen and hydrogen an acid which has both oxygen and hydrogen can be called an oxy acid for example hno3 nitric acid is an oxy acid hno3 so how do we go about different names you have nitric acid nitrous acid hyponitrous acid pernitric acid so there are so many oxy acids in fact uh, we roughly have some 20 30 oxy acids in our syllabus spread over two three topics how to remember all those names oxy acids of sulfur oxy acid of phosphorus h3po4 this is called phosphoric acid you may even call it ortho phosphoric acid sulfuric acid h2so4 an acid from the sixth group these two are from group 5a sulfur comes in the sixth group and hclo4 perchloric acid from the seventh group so you have per acids ic acids as acids h3po3 this is phosphoric acid this is phosphorus acid you have ic acids you have as acids sulfurous acid so how to remember so many names we have a simple procedure very simple procedure please look at this oxy acids or though or though dash dash ic acid this term or though is optional you may use it or you may not use it or though phosphoric acid or phosphoric acid mean the same they are one and the same or though is an optional term so you have hno3 which is called nitric acid ic ic the stress is on ic nitric acid h3po4 phosphoric acid or though is optional that's why i have put that in brackets optional whether you use it or not that doesn't make any difference h2so4 sulfuric acid and hclo3 please look here please be careful that is chloric acid hclo3 chloric so all these are ic acids nitric phosphoric sulfuric chloric so us acid what is an us acid one oxygen less hno2 nitrous acid h3po3 phosphorus acid h2so3 sulfurous acid hclo2 chlorous acid don't remember all these things you just remember this is an ic acid this is us nitric nitrous so what is an us mean one oxygen atom less than ic one two so you have to remember these four there is no option you must remember these four making that as a reference making this as a reference we go to other acids for example nitric nitrous one oxygen atom less hno3 hno2 look at 3 2 4 3 4 3 3 2 so phosphoric acid phosphorus acid sulfuric acid sulfurous acid chloric acid chlorous acid so what do you mean by us one oxygen less than ic you have hypo dash dash us acid one more oxygen less you have to follow the trend three two one h and o but hyponitrous acid is a dimer h and o twice it exists as a dimer so what is it you should observe ic us hypo us one oxygen less one more oxygen less so you have h3po4 h3po3 h3po2 
you don't have hyposulfurous acid that doesn't exist HClO so what is it you have to observe carefully three oxygens two oxygens